Welcome to Cloud EML. It's Vikas here. And this particular question that I'm going to discuss with you uh, was asked at the Facebook interview. And this was actually uh, asked by the Instagram team um, that what if we want to, you know, like scrape the data in the most simplified manner without using all those you know big packages because it's like you have to scrape like a small amount of data and if you don't want to need like in the tabular form or any other form and if you don't want to use those you know big packages of python and uh, if you don't want to use that much amount of memory right so it's it's kind of a tough question to listen that, okay, I cannot use the tools that are necessary for that. And at the same time, you are asking me to, um, you know, uh, scrap the web data, right? So what if I tell you that, you know, this particular thing can be achieved with just the most used package, uh, which is the pandas, and it's easy to you know remember those things so let's say first if i import pandas as pd we can run this one and you know what we can import a file you know what i'm gonna get a little adventurous and let's look at the most grossing Bollywood films and let's look at this URL right and it has like as you can see that it has you know this like a list this is kind of a table and this is another table right according to the HTML these are like HTML tables right and I just want to take these these or like let's say let's talk about this first table that okay these are the most grossing like with the highest grossing uh, Bollywood or like Indian films right so let's say if we want to start with that and if we take pandas then you must be knowing that pandas has a read you know html uh, method right so we are gonna take the variable as like a scraper equals to pd dot read uh html this can be anything like read csv or read anything so right now it's the link so it's we're gonna look at the read not Excel, not CSV, but we're gonna go with read HTML. And then uh, we're gonna paste this link. Um, okay, we're gonna paste this link to our scraper method, right? So this has been stored in the, in the scraper variable. So for to, to print, like, let's say these are like so many, you know, tables on the website, right? So for that, we are going to take as like, we are going to put them in the for loop, right? Uh, which I'm going to explain you for sure in a minute. So let's say for uh, index uh, and table in enumerate as we all know that like enumerate method is like it's it's going to give you index and the um value of the uh, items in the list right uh sorry here so it's going to take enumerate and then scraper variable right so it's going to give us the index and the table in the scraper so we are going to print just for Space. We are gonna print. Uh, let's say mm, maybe kind of 
a separator on it or anything in this one and then we can print uh, you know print index of the table and then print the table itself right so it's gonna give you all those you know table informations okay uh this but i guess this is not the like the value or you know this is not kind of a thing that we're looking for so we are gonna uh take this in a better way that okay if we want to okay this is the first thing that uh it has and this is the so this is the first one this is the second one so like it's zero then one right so if we print like okay uh if we okay let's check this one sorry i just lost a bit oops a lot of movies <laughs> uh so if we print scraper one oops sorry scraper zero dot head sorry it was my bad uh this is not a table this is just a list so i guess this is the first table in the um in the website so if we type like scraper zero so this is the index zero of the table right and if we print like head of that table you're gonna get um like you know a beautiful data frame of this one right so you can see all the movies okay i'm a kgf fan it's on fourth number which is good <laughs> and then you know you can start your analysis through this right so this was uh, kind of you know a pretty simple problem i would say and without using anything like you know without using any other big packages or anything we have just derived um you know um a web data from the data frame and if you want to you know further do it anything this was just kind of a simple problem if you want to um do it with uh, like matplotlib or you know seaborn um you can take the analysis to the next level right without using much memory without using you know much or like many other packages and you can save your code optimize your code this was like a simple code for analysis uh, maybe if you if you want you can uh you know take these things in your sqlite database which is very very easy uh right so yeah that was it guys and if you want to check the links to the cloudy ml courses please do check these and like let's say if you want to take like data science combo package uh you know for ml for data science whichever you're looking for like for data scientist or you know machine learning engineer python for data science if you want to become a python developer you know make your own packages and be adventurous i would say uh, please do check these courses and keep learning have a good day guys